All right, I want to start off by giving all praise to the Most High through the only begotten Son, which is the Savior. So let's dive straight into this. What's so-called Jesus, which is not his real name, uh, the Son of God? Um, and what was he? What is the Messiah? So first off, the word Messiah or Mashiach means anointed. Also, the word Christ which also means Messiah, means anointed. So what was the anointed? Was he really the anointed? Was he really God? Let's dive straight into this. So a question we first have to answer is this. Let's go to the very, okay, let's start off with John 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning, with God all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made in him was life and the life was the light of man and the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not right so in the beginning was the word we know what this word is that would be so called Jesus I say so called Jesus because People call him many names. They call him Yahweh Shah. They call him Yeshua. They call him Yeshua. They call him Yahusha. They call him Jehovah. You know, it's many different names, but this particular video isn't about that. So, uh, we know who this is talking about, right? The Son of Yah, the Son of God. So. If you skip down to verse 10, he was in the world and the world was made by him. Now, let's go to Genesis. The word, the world was made by him. So this whole Genesis story is talking about the creation, right? But check this out in verse 26. And God said, let us wait a minute. Now. If all things were made by him, which is a singular word, why does it say, let us make man in our image? So there's something going on here. We need answers. But don't worry. We're going to answer that this video. But before we answer that, let's continue reading. Let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have the meaning of the fish of the sea. You know, and so forth. Verse skip to verse twenty-seven. So God created man in His. Wait a minute. So it said us, and now it says His. Hmm. So there's one question we we're gonna answer in this video. Um, about this one thing versus the us thing. So let's find out what. He is first and foremost, but if you're old, if you only believe in the Old Testament, now you know this word is in the Old Testament, Messiah. Daniel 9 and 25, it speaks of the Messiah coming to restore and to build Jerusalem. Now, there's an argument about if this is about so-called Jesus, you know, but ultimately we'll just say Savior, so-called not so called. We'll, we'll say Savior. There's an argument that this is about the Savior of the in the New Testament, but this word is clearly here in nine twenty Daniel nine and twenty five. So that argument is also about to get answered as well. So let's find out about the Messiah. First of all, we need to know what his church is and who he is and all that good stuff ephesians let's see where do i want to start no first corinthians 3 and 16 know ye not that ye are the temple of god and that the spirit of god dwelleth in you if any man defile the temple of god him shall god destroy for the temple of god is holy which temple Ye are. So, first of all, you're the house of God. 
I'm going to make that point. Now I'm going to go to Ephesians 2 and 19 and 20. Now, therefore, ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints. The saints, which means angels. And of the household of God. Now, remember, you're the household of God. You are the temple of God. Right? And this is to the Ephesians. And are built upon the foundation of the apostles and the prophets. Now, look. Once you come into the household of God, you're built upon the foundation of the apostles and the prophets. So, which are part of the temple. Savior, anointed, the anointed Savior himself being the chief cornerstone. So, he's the chief cornerstone of this temple, which you are. That's important. So you have to understand there's a whole entire temple. So when we're talking about the Messiah, we're talking about a whole temple. And this particular Savior that came was the chief cornerstone. That's what the scripture says. Also, let's see. Colossians 1 and 15 this is about the messiah who is the image of the invisible god the firstborn of every creature for by him were all things made now remember in genesis it said let us make man in our image i just told you it's a whole temple and this savior in the new testament is the chief cornerstone let's keep reading that are in the heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or power, all things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things, and by him all things consist. And he is the head of the body. Look at that. He's the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead, that in all things he might have the preeminence now look at that he's the head of the body now remember you are the temple you are the temple of the of god and the spirit dwells in you so you are the church of god and the head is the anointed savior of the new testament right Now, let us make man in our own image. I feel like it's already been answered. But let's completely answer with this one chapter. This will answer all these questions. All right. Let's start. Let's go to 1 Corinthians 12. And we'll start at verse 4. Now, there are diversities of gifts, but the same spirit. And there are differences of administration, but the same Lord. So check that out. There's one spirit, but there's a diversity of gifts of that spirit. Now watch this. I'm going to skip to verse 8. For to one is given by the spirit. So it's been given by that same spirit, which is the Holy Spirit, which is the anointed Savior. The word made flesh. <laughs> the word of wisdom. So look at there. The word made flesh. The word of wisdom. To another. The word of knowledge by the same spirit. To another faith by the same spirit. To another the gifts of healing by the same spirit. To another, the working of miracles. To another, prophecy. Look at here. This is all the Holy Spirit. This is all the body. This is all the temple. This is all the Messiah. To another, discerning of spirits. To another, divers kinds of tongues. To another, the interpretation of tongues. But all these work at that one and self-same spirit. 
dividing to every man severally as he will. Look, that's that answers the whole let us make man in our own, own image right there. But we can keep going because it's all one spirit. So, but watch this. Let's just keep reading. For as the body is one and has many members, all the members of that one body being many are one body. So also is the anointed. Look, so Old Testament people, please show this to somebody that's Old Testament only. If you believe in the Messiah as your Savior, show this video to an Old Testament person. So they can understand what they're reading in the Old Testament. But let's continue. For by one spirit are we all baptized into one body. Whether we be Jews or Gentiles. Whether we be bond or free. And have all um, sorry, been all made to drink into one spirit. It's literally just one body. One spirit. So in the beginning when it says... Let us make man. This is that one spirit speaking. It just has many gifts. You understand? But let's keep on in uh, 1 Corinthians 12. Verse 14. For the body is not one member, but many. If the foot shall say, because I am not the hand. I am not of the body. Is it therefore not of the body? Just look at your own body. You have control over your fingers, your thumbs, you know, your forehead. Your, I don't know. You have control over your body. It's still your body, you know. And if the ear shall say, because I am not the eye, I am not of the body. Is it therefore not of the body? If the whole body were an eye, where were the hearing? If the whole were hearing, where were the smelling? But now hath God set the members, every one of them, in the body as it hath pleased them. And if they were all one member, where were the body? But now are they many members, but yet, yet, but one body. Different members, different gifts. You have understanding, wisdom, faith. They're all called the Messiah. Right? Now I cannot say unto the hand. I have no need of thee, nor again the head of the feet. I have no need of you. So basically, it's one body. And that explains Genesis 1 and 26. That explains the Messiah, what it, what it means. You know, um, I think I made this video pretty plain. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Um, if you want me to do a part two, I can go really deep into this, but uh, I think I pretty much answered this. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts and I'm out.